Mike Sports Vibes. Thank you for vibing with me. You know, after the Grizzlies game, I was like, yo, that was a tough loss. But then I'm getting some more news and there's a lot of drama in Philadelphia right now for the Sixers. And Joel Embiid had to do what he had to do. I'm going to just say that right now. I don't like the fact that you got people that they think they can say what they want to say without any consequences. They think that they're so, I don't know if they think that they're beyond approachment. I don't know what they're thinking in their head, but I am so glad Joel B did what he did. And look, let me say this right now. Once you talk about the family, you could, like Joel B. in other words, said, you could talk about me. You could say I'm bad and all that, but don't talk about my family. And Marcus Hayes, you wrong for that. And I'm going to break it. I'm going to read some of the things that he said. I'm going to read some of the things that Joel B. said. But Joel B. pushed him. You know what I mean? But what I don't like, though, Keith Pompey, I follow you on X. I'm going to unfollow you as soon as I get done this video. I don't like what you said, man. You reported from the, uh, he's working with the Philadelphia Inquirer, Inquirer, and um, he reported that Embiid had insulted a reporter. There was some initial confusions about whether Embiid punched the reporter due to a now-deleted tweet by Pompey. Now, look, man, that's all cap. I'm going to hit you with the nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. Nah. And if you are a Sixer fan, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It's definitely going down. We're going live for mostly every single game. So join the YouTube family. Now let's get to it, man. So first and foremost, I want to just say why Joel Embiid is so mad. Because I made a video, uh, was it yesterday, the day before yesterday, and I said Joel Embiid is big mad. But this is before I got this information. This is why he was mad. And he has all the right to be mad. And Look, when I said, when I, I'm telling you right now, he stood on business and look, I would have done the same thing. I probably would have, I, I don't, let me say this. I'm not for the violence, but some things you got to handle business when you got to handle business. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to just keep it right there. I'm not for the violence, but you got to handle business when you got to handle business. You know what I mean? For those who know. They know, you know what I mean? And let me just say this, Marcus, Marcus Hayes from Philadelphia Inquirer. So the second, this is what he said about Joel Embiid, right? And this is why Joel Embiid is so mad and he has a right to be mad. And let me say this, Marcus Hayes, I feel like you need to be fired. I don't really like, I mean, trying to be like, yo, he needs people need to be fired and all that. I don't like doing that because that's someone's livelihood and all that. But this is a violation, bro. This is a big violation, what you were saying. And this shows your character. And not all money is good money. You know what I'm saying? You, you were saying all this because you wanted the bread. You know what I'm saying? To get them clicks, to get them views. But, bro, you got the attention you wanted. Now... Let me talk my talk. Let's, let's see what he said. This is what he said. Was he talking about Joel and B? He said, the second that Joel realized he was there. Oh, no. This is what uh, Kyle Newbeck said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Joel and B consistently. All right, all right, this is what Hayes said, right? He said, Joel and B consistently points to the birth of his son, Arthur, as the major inflection point in his basketball career. He often says that he wants to be great to leave a legacy for the boy named after his little brother who tragically died in a, in a car accident. First of all, are, are you serious? When Embiid was in his first year as a 76er, you're really bringing up his brother that passed away. Like, who are you, dude, for you to speak on somebody's loved one? But listen, that's not all he said, though, y'all. He said, well, in order to be great at your job, you first have to show up for work. And B has been great at just the opposite. Dang. Now in his 11th season, 
he consistently has been a poor he has been in poor condition. This poor conditioning apparently seems to have delayed his debut this season. And look, all that is just you're doing too much. You're doing way too much. And I, I don't know, man, wh where he was raised, where he comes from, and I can care less. But you're taking it to another level. And you're doing too much. Just talk about the man. Just talk about his game on the court. Talk about he never can, he never can get on the court and all that. Just talk about that. But when you start bringing up the personal family stuff, you're violating. You're violating big time. You know what I'm saying? And, yo, <laughs> I can't be mad at Joel and be you lucky he ain't do more than that than shove you. Because, you know, <laughs> some people <laughs> don't take that um, he was nice about it. I'm going to keep it real. Joel Embiid was nice about it. And then also what happened, this is what Kyle Newbeck said, and he just recapped recap what happened post-game after the Grizzlies game, and this is when this is what he's seen. This is, what, this is his opinion, what he saw. He said the second that Joel realized he was there, got into a verbal back and forth, obviously we can't repeat many of the words that were said on this show, the basic gist of it was basically you can say I suck, you can say whatever you want about me as a player. Don't ever put my dead brother's name in your mouth. Don't talk about my family. Don't bring them into this. You want to talk to me like a man and talk to me about basketball. That's different. But if you ever Talk about my family again. We're going to have real problems. Talk, talk, that talk. Yeah, you got me hype. I'm about to ride. I'm about to ride with Joel and B. We ride. Yo, who with me, y'all? Who riding with me with Joel and B? I'm rocking with Joel. And look, the NBA is doing an investigation on all this and yada, yada, yada. I don't even. Yo, bro. Like, honestly. I just hope they don't suspend him too long because I want him on the basketball court to prove to the world that he's that bull because I truly believe in Joel Embiid. And um, I'm op optimistic about what he can do when it counts the most. And I, I think that we're going to be champions this year. But that's another story for another day. Let's get back to this. Man, I just feel like Hayes needs to get fired. I hope I never hear him again. Like, at all. I don't want to hear anything about this dude. Keith Pompey is just, it's unacceptable, bro. You're unacceptable. The way you came about it, the way you tweeting, you got a pretty big following yourself. You tweeting that my bull Joel and B like pretty much really hurt the bull. He just pushed them, bro. <laughs> like, you got to stop that, man. But that's all I got to say. Joel and B, keep your head up. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking with you. All of Philly is rocking with you. The Philadelphia 76ers know you that dude. And yo, let me say this one more thing. When they finally come back on that floor, just going back to this, man. When they finally get back on that floor, Joel Embiid and Paul George, we about to, we going about to show the world what we capable of and we will win the championship. We will be in the finals. We will have the MVP of the finals, Joel Embiid. Stand up, Philly. Let's go. I'm out. Mike Sports Vibes, thank you for vibing with me. Yeah. Mike Sports Vibes, thank you for vibing with me. Uh -huh. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. Let's go. I really do this. I'm a hybrid fan. Uh -huh. I'm a stand up man. Yeah. They be hating on the squads, but, but they, they really, really a fan. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. Let's go.